In order to get this kind of updated and get rid of my Corona materials, what I'm first going to do is go into my render setup, go to V-Ray, and go to Global Switches. One thing I like to do in this in these newer versions of V-Ray is make sure that I right click on where it says default here. You can go to advance and expert. I like to right click and switch all to expert because I know what most of these settings are and I like to use them. So under global switches, go to override material where it says none, you can click on it and it gives you the option to add a material there. What I'm actually going to do is go into my material editor and you can see these are all Corona materials. I've changed the renderer from Corona to V-Ray, so now they're not showing up. In this slot, let's put a new V-Ray material. V-Ray, it's going to be right there. And now we just have a solid gray default V-Ray material. And let's just drag that into our override material, like so. And we can instance it. Let's actually call it override. Now let's try to render and see what happens. Okay, something's there. Looks a little bright. Okay, that's not what we want, so let's stop. Okay, so something was wrong with the lighting. That again goes back to the fact that this was a Corona render originally. If you hit Shift L and bring on my lights, you will see that I have a Corona sun over here, which seems to be emitting light, obviously, because it was very bright, but it's not set up to be the way that I want it. And since this class isn't about Corona, we're just gonna delete that, and we'll add a V-Ray sun like you've seen before, go to create panel, lights, drop down to V-Ray, add a V-Ray sun. Would you like to automatically add a V-Ray environment map? Yes. There's already environment map in the slot because there was a Corona sun before. Would you like to replace it? Yes. And what that's doing again is If you go to rendering, environment, now you can see it put a V-Ray default sky here. If we instance that into our material slots, you will see that we have a V-Ray sky right there, which just gives us a very basic background. And it's tied to the sun so that when we move the sun, the sky changes. What we're gonna do is come up this way, just a little bit in the front view, so that now we have this sharp angle like it's a sunset. Now let's see what happens when we render. Actually, I want to show you a different way to render now. We go into V-Ray. V-Ray's changed a little bit with the last few iterations. One nice thing that you can do with the latest version, if you go to the frame buffer, under V-Ray, frame buffer, show last frame buffer, we can just do this, refresh interactive rendering and what that does is it makes the rendering basically interactive, so I can still work over here while this is rendering and figuring things out. I want to zoom out there though. Put that off to the side. Let's go here and turn this down. Intensity multiplier to 0.03. And we'll see that this updates automatically. Of course, not in the right view anymore. There we go. Okay, and it just starts doing a progressive rendering again and showing us basically where we're at. This is too bright still. Actually, like I've shown on these little update videos with the, with the camera, what we can do is go into rendering environment. And with the physical camera, we now do our, make sure our exposure control is on. When you put in a physical camera, this will auto automatically be turned on for you. And that is now a good place to control the exposure of your image. As long as that's turned on, you can now go into the camera, make sure this camera is selected, select camera, and you can go down to where it says exposure, right here, in the camera settings, under modify, and you can change the target exposure value right here. So we put that to eight. You can see now we're about in the right lighting range that we wanna be in. Our sky is turning blue, nothing is blown out and overexposed, Okay, so we put in a basic V-Ray Sun, it's looking pretty good. Now I think I taught you this before, but one thing that you want to do composition-wise is usually put the sun on the opposite, this is a good rule of thumb only, but 
put the sun on the opposite side of your camera so that you get some nice contrasting shadows coming through here and then you notice this side is is completely in darkness and the front is well defined by the shadows that are being cast okay so there's basic adding of a v-ray sun and getting our exposure correct